This is for chapter five, question three. The question states, for a distribution with a standard deviation of 20, Describe the location of each of the following z-scores in terms of its position relative to the mean. For example, a z-score of equal to plus 1.00 is 20 points above the mean. And it's above the mean because it's plus one and it's 20 points because a z-score of one is one standard deviation. One standard deviation on the positive means it's one standard deviation above the mean. So, question 3a is a z-score of equal to plus 2.00. And that position relative to the mean, it is 2 times 20, that's 40. This is 40 points above the mean. 3B, it has a Z score of equal to 0. 0.5. Five, zero, plus, and the, where I'm getting these z-scores, the plus 2, the plus 0.5, that's from the question in the book. Um, so 0. 0.5, so we take 0. 0.5 times 20, and that's 10. So it is 10 points, and because it's positive, it's above the mean. Three C is z score equal to negative 1.00. So if we take 1 times 20, we get 20. And so this score is 20 points below the mean. And this time it's below because it's a negative z score. 3d, the z equals negative 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 times 20 equals 5 and so this is 5 points below the mean and it can be useful to draw it out Right? So this is our normal curve. And I'll get some other colors to, to sort of color code some of this stuff. Um, let's see if I can get colors that will show up as different. So if we take 3A and we mark that in purple, so this is our mean. This is our z-score equal to 0, 0.00. And this graph is, bear with me, it's, it's symmetrical. So a z-score of plus 2 is to the right of the mean. And it's going to be out here. A z-score of, let's code this in green. A z-score of 0. 0.5 is also going to be to the right of the mean. but not by as much, it's only 10 instead of 40, so it's somewhere in here. Put a plus there. Um, the z score of minus 1 is going to be to the left of the mean. It's over here. Um, and then the Z, oh, and let me code that, so that one's in red. And then this D is in blue, and it's going to be close to the mean, because it's only 0.25 standard deviations, and it's a negative, so it's negative 0 0.25. So you can see how they are, and these distances are approximate. Um, 
But if you're not sure if it's above or below the mean, if you draw it out first, you plot it, then you can see, okay, well, this one's negative, so it's to the left, and left is below the mean. And you go from there. 